In this video we are going to talk about 8 horrific ways animal kill their prey. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to Adify YouTube channel for future updates. It's been mentioned before, but it's important to emphasize, the natural world may be terrifying at times. And at other moments, totally heartless and cruel. Here are 8 of the most tragic ways a victim can lose their life at the hands, or jaws, of a dangerous animal. Before we continue, I feel it's important to point out that a few of these are really upsetting, so just a word of warning, tread carefully. Number 8. Being eaten alive by insect larvae. One for the underdog, in this scenario, the worm-like larvae of the carnivorous epimese ground beetles win the game. These larvae lure amphibians such as frogs and toads to themselves, and once they do, they attach themselves to various regions of their host's body. The larvae will not let go of the animal and will continue to feed off of it until it is dead. The more closely an amphibian approached a beetle larva, the more erratically it moved its antennae up and down and from side to side as it approached the frog. Some of the larvae were moving their antennae and opening and closing their thorny mandibles at the same time. According to Dave Mosher, who writes for Wired, the movement of various mouth components appeared to entice amphibians into attacking. Wizen explained that amphibians hunt by moving around. In general, they will go after anything that is close at hand, moves quickly, and is a suitable size for them. A larva was able to avoid being eaten by an amphibian that was trying to consume it by quickly bobbing its head in order to avoid the frog's lightning-fast tongue. After a few moments, the larva attached itself to the skin of its target and proceeded to drain it of its blood. It is interesting to note that only 10% of predator-prey relationships end with a smaller species eating a larger animal, but when this does occur, it is always the result of an active attack and not a case of a smaller animal luring its prey. Number 7. Chased to exhaustion by an orca whale. Orca whales feed on a wide variety of marine species, some of which include fish, seals, penguins, squid, sea turtles, and even sharks. However, they also enjoy a good meal of their own kind, the other cetaceans. Orca whales hunt in groups and ambush other whale species, such as gray whales and sperm whales, as part of their normal behavior. Orcas will crash their gigantic bodies into their prey at great speeds, suffering serious injuries in the process, in order to render their victims incapable of fleeing. They have also been known to pursue a mother and calf for several hours, until the mother becomes too tired to continue and the calf can no longer be protected. Orcas like feasting on the nutrient-rich tongues and tender flesh of the young calves. When hunting dolphins, orcas are known to be very vicious. They are traveling at a speed of 30 knots when they collide with dolphins, launching their bodies out of the water and severing the dolphins' spines. Number 6. Ripped apart by chimps. It is particularly revolting to watch chimpanzees pursue monkeys in the manner in which they do. After being captured, the unfortunate creatures are actually dismembered and consumed. Chimpanzees have been seen to fight with each other in the same manner on numerous occasions. Number 5. Being paralyzed and slowly devoured by a shrew. The shrew is an animal that resembles a mouse and has a long nose. Although it doesn't appear to be much of a threat, the shrew is actually a complete jerk. The Blarina brevicata, also known as the North American short-tailed shrew, is capable of paralyzing its victim by secreting venom from salivary glands located in its lower jaw. However, the purpose of the paralysis is not to kill the prey, rather, it is to keep the prey alive for a lengthy amount of time so that the predator can continue feeding on it for a longer period of time. A mouse, for instance, can become infected by a tiny shrew, which can then graze on the animal for days and days until the mouse eventually dies from the physical traumas it sustained. They have also been seen nibbling on mealworms that have been immobilized for up to a week and a half. Shrews have the ability to consume earthworms, insects, nuts, and even mice on a daily basis, which might cause them to gain weight. The paralytic effects of the shrew venom, which has been synthesized into a molecule called sericidin, could be utilized to treat migraines, myofacial pain, neuromuscular illnesses, and even wrinkles. The shrew venom has been rendered harmless to humans through the process of synthesis. Number 4. Crushed in the jaws of a saltwater crocodile. The saltwater crocodile is the largest terrestrial apex predator in the world and the largest extant reptile overall. It also possesses the strongest bite of any living animal, 
measuring over 3,700 pounds per square inch sigh. After being caught, an animal is unable to escape and will eventually perish due to the effects of an underwater death roll. The purpose of the crocodile's teeth is not to rend flesh, but rather to grasp onto prey and prevent it from escaping. It is comparable to being caught in an undertow, only that the waves are armed with fangs rather than claws. This has had to be one of the cruelest ways to meet your maker. Number 3. Devoured by a bear. Bears are famed not only for their enormous power and diverse abilities as predators, but also for their emotionless approach to the act of murdering prey. They frequently start feeding right away, rather than waiting for the prey to die, which is an event that is merely incidental to the process. There have been reports of grizzlies reaching weights of up to 680 kilograms, 1,500 pounds, and possessing the same amount of strength as five people. There is not much an animal can do to get rid of that thing, especially if the bear is determined to keep it. Number 2. Caught at the bottom of a pitcher plant. It's almost like the Sarlacc pit from Star Wars has been brought to life. The pitcher plant is a type of carnivorous plant that traps prey in a chamber that is filled with water. It uses both visual and nectar lures to coax its victims, which are typically insects that are searching for food, crawling on the ground, or soaring through the air like flies, into the cup leaf. When an insect approaches the trap too closely, the smooth surface causes it to slip, and it then falls to the bottom of the device. It is quite unlikely that the prey will be able to escape, as the pitcher plant employs a number of defense mechanisms, such as waxy scales and hairs that face downward, to prevent this from happening. The prey will eventually drown, at which point the plant will extract nutrients through a variety of methods, such as bacteria, enzymes, and even mutualistic insect larvae that will help themselves to the pickings, but will also nourish the plant with their waste products. Number 1. Lured by the sound of a baby monkey in distress. The psychological toll taken by this one is greater than that of any other. Imagine that you are a pied tamarind monkey that lives in the Brazilian rainforest, and all of a sudden you hear the voice of a baby crying out in agony. You would feel an overwhelming impulse to go out and help the kid. In actuality, however, it is a trap that was set by a margay, which is a species of wildcat that lives in the forest and is exceptionally good at imitating other animals. According to reports from the Wildlife Conservation Society. In 2005, researchers from the Wildlife Conservation Society and the Federal University of Amazonas first witnessed this incredible instance of vocal imitation. In a ficus tree, there were eight pied tamarins, which are almost the same size as squirrels. They were feeding. Suddenly, the noises of tamarind babies could be heard ringing out from within a cluster of tangled vines, sometimes known as lianas. The researchers were able to identify the source of the calls as coming from a margay that was attempting to attract lunch. After that, the sentinel of the gang descended from the tree to investigate the situation below. Then, shortly after, there came another four of the curious monkeys. The tiger-striped cat pounced into action. A pat on the back is due to the sentinel who caught the error just in the nick of time. By quickly making the predator alarm cry, the tamarin was able to stop the attack made by the margay and save its fellow group members. In spite of the fact that the crafty cat was unsuccessful in its attempt to kill and eat the monkey on this specific occasion, the researchers who were observing it nearby were extremely impressed with its hunting method. The sightings, which took place in the Reserva Florestal Adolfo Duck, confirmed anecdotal reports from people living within the Amazon of wild cat species, including jaguars and pumas, imitating primates, agudas, a type of rodent, and other animals to draw them into striking range. The sightings took place in the reserve. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.